Come on, let's go home to Good Springs and relax for a bit. And I'll get my healing stuff. And uh, then we'll... Then we're going to Vegas, alright? I've decided. We're going to Vegas. And, um... There... I think you can stay in Good Springs, mate. You can have a bit of time off. I was gonna keep you around the whole time, but you're just getting annoying with this whole I'm not gonna use my hammer... thing. So... You, you have a break. Russell... Yeah, you can go ahead and chill at the 188 for a while. And, uh, I'm gonna go to Vegas and pick up Veronica and, and uh, and Cass, I think. And I, I, brought my, I brought the advanced recon armor with me as well, so I can give that to Boone, too. And maybe it'll cheer him up a bit. <laughs> no way, not a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We are, uh, oh, a New Vegas anti-crash just, just stopped the game from imploding on itself. That's always nice. Uh. <laughs> oh, dear. I always worry when that message pops up because it seems to indicate there's some serious problem somewhere, but to be honest with you, it's probably just New Vegas being dumb. Wow, no, it's really going hell for leather on the whole crashing front, isn't it? Keeps popping up. And again, when I open my pit boy. Wow. Does the game just not like the Lucky 38 or something? Because it was fine earlier. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Every time that pops up in the left, the top left corner, by the way, that. that It's basically New Vegas Anti Crash having stopped the game from, from crashing, and it is just constantly fucking popping up. Wow, look at that. That is nuts. Which is odd, because I was in here a minute ago, not recording, and now suddenly it's going bonkers. It's going totally bananas, isn't it? Look at it. Okay, well that was kind of weird. I just restarted the game. And it seems to be okay now. Um, wow. I don't, I don't even, I can't even begin to understand. I couldn't find anything useful in the, in the log file. God damn it, why is my telephone on the floor? And there's a defaced ranger helmet. Okay. I wonder if you had anything to do with what's going on here, Mr. Defaced Ranger Helmet. Hmm? It's got an anarchy logo on it, and one of the eyeglasses is cracked. I see. Well, that's interesting, I guess. Does it have night vision on it or anything? No, it doesn't. Interesting. Can I do anything with this? This is from a mod called Adam, which is a, a definitive armor mod, it's called. And I thought you could do something with those ranger helmets, but never mind. Um, that's weird. Okay, well, I've, I have a random defaced ranger helmet knocking around in here. The reason's unknown to me, but it's there. Maybe it's a poltergeist or something. The former owner of the defaced ranger helmet has just come in here and he's knocked all my shit over. Bastard. Look at this. Look at this mess. Anyway, we're in the lucky 38. And I'm not wearing my hat anymore, that makes me sad. But yeah, we're in the Lucky 38. Bert and Russell have, have gone. They're um, on a break. Bert's back in Good Springs, watching over the house, playing with all the new toy trucks he's got in there. Um, and there are a lot of them, so... Playing some football and stuff. Paul and Dean are keeping an eye on him, in, on him anyway, so... Russell's buggered off to the 188. For some reason, he just loves that loves that place. I, I don't understand why, but that's where he's gone. 
because we're taking a break from bounty hunting. Um, we did a bit of it. We did quite a few bounties. Oh, yeah, and I gave Boone his advanced recon armor. Um, you know, people have been complaining about your beard. I think you should take that hunting rifle of yours and go show them what you do with people who complain about your beard. Anyway, yeah, so we've sent them away. Um, we did some bounties, but it was sort of getting a bit grim. <laughs> so, <laughs> decided to take a break. Come back here, say hello to Veronica, who we've not seen in ages. How you doing? And, um, and Cass as well, because we're going to go check out that caravan, because I feel really bad about sending Cass away um, earlier. Because she kind of had a bit of a what the fuck are you doing moment with us. <laughs> so I sent her away. Um, and she seemed a bit disappointed, actually. So, we're going to take Veronica and Cass with us, and we're going to go do a bunch of stuff. We're going to go find that burned-out caravan. We're going to go, um, you know, what was it? Oh, yeah, we're going to go find some grills at the H&H &H Tools Factory as well. That's what we're going to do. Get some, do, do, just do, do some odds and ends that don't involve killing people and taking their fingers for money. So, yeah. Um, guys, really? We're putting all the poker chips on the floor, are we? Is that is that where they go? No, no, it isn't. No, it is not where the uh, poker chips belong. I think you will find. Or under the chair. No, not there either. Damn it. Anyway, how are you? What's up? We should go and and do you know punch things and people. And I've got a zap glove you can have. Let's go make trouble. That's a neat trick you do there with the with the whole miming. Um, anyway, tell me about yourself, Veronica. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. Um, what are your goals? I want a dress. A dress? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. So that's your goal? You want a nice dress? I... I... I'm not that I want to judge or anything. I mean, I'm slightly obsessed with nice suits, so, you know, I quite understand. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. I see. Tell me something else about you. Can I make it up? If you want. Uh... Uh, do, do, do. Are you well respected among other members of the Brotherhood? If you take trying to keep me as far away from Hidden Valley as possible because I ask too many difficult questions as a sign of respect, oh yeah. That's not to say I don't get along with them. I just think they don't know what to do with me sometimes. See, see you got the whole cheek sunglasses problem as well, but I don't want to take them off you because they look really good on you, actually. Um, okay. Uh, is there some place, yeah, is there some place in particular you wanted me to take you? Because I'm sort of, we're, we're taking requests at the moment. No, we're specific. I just know there are a lot of groups who are actually doing well for themselves out here. I want to understand how and why. See them at work. So you want to go, oh, okay, you just want to go visit factions, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, uh, how can I best use your skills? I like punching things, but sometimes shooting things just has to do. Anything else? Yeah. I've been taking things apart and putting them back together since before I said my first word. You want to build something? Talk to me, and we can do it right there on the spot. Workbenches are from novices. Who knows? I might even be able to show you a brotherhood trick or two. Really? Uh, uh, questions I wanted to ask you. Well, when two people really love each other, you really don't know this stuff yet? Funny. Can you tell me anything about this platinum chip? Yeah. It's not for poker. 
I've never seen anything quite like it, but I can tell you it looks like it was fabricated before the war, and not at a mint. Some kind of tech. I'm gonna say mid-2200s. Hold on to it. Might be your lucky chip. Hmm. All right. Uh, know anything about New Vegas? Yep, it's your typical city layout. Rich people in a gated community surrounded by extreme poverty. House gave the area around the strip to the locals, but he has no interest in it, so he ignores it entirely. It just needs new management. I'd love to see the Brotherhood do it, but since the Codex doesn't say clean up Freeside, no one listens to me. Bunch of sticklers. Uh, what do you think of the NCR? I'm worried they'll be the death of the Brotherhood. They take what they want. We defend our interests to the death. But there's a handful of us, and tens or hundreds of thousands of them. So, it's not going to end well. Last time we clashed, we lost a lot of people. Retreated to our bunker. Now we're afraid to even move around during the day. Hmm. Bloody hell. Um, yeah. Uh, any thoughts about Caesar's Legion? Probably not many positive ones, but hey. Silliest dress band of raping, slaving marauders you'll see east of California. I'll say that. Where's that touch of old world class? Although, I hear the soldiers mount each other as much as they mount their women, so maybe they did keep a little something from the Empire. No such privilege for the women, though. Figures. So, to answer your question, they're a bunch of hypocritical jerkwads. It's a word. <laughs> okay. I was young and I needed the money. Uh-huh. I never mind. Darn it. I had some spectacular answers coming, too. Alright, let's go. See you around. Uh, Cass. How you doing? You're, uh... Are you, are you, you're not holding this against me, are you? This whole... Thing where I... Brutally mutilated a fiend. And set them on fire. Yeah... It's not quite as bad as it sounds. Honest. Cass? Where have you gone? There you are. Well, now, look what rolled in. What, you getting lonely out there? Or, okay, you're just fine. You, you're going to be a bitch about it. Fine, whatever. Do, do you want to go out or not? Was reminded why I left this place soon as I walked in. Let's go. Okay. Ladies, let's 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 get the hell out of here. Boone, uh, I'm sorry, buddy, but three's already a freaking crowd, so Be careful if we go off the road. Yeah, thanks for that, Cass. Uh Where the hell is he? Oh he's I gave him the advanced recon fucking stealth armor. He's probably in a corner somewhere invisible. Uh Victor. I roller sweet. Yes, I I'm quite aware of that. I'd like to go to the casino. Casino floor. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, you got my laser gun. My laser RCW. Oh, Veronica, you should have seen some of the crazy laser guns and shit we've picked up in the meantime. It's awesome. I've, I've left the AER prototype thingy-majigger at home in Good Springs, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to, next time we're back there, I'll get it out and we can, we can you know vaporize some tin cans or something it'll you, you, seriously it's awesome it fires green stuff at like in a constant stream when you pull the trigger it's great anyway yeah the strip isn't it lovely you know what we've not actually explored much of it well, well you know we have but we were pissed drunk at the time you weren't around for that were you Cass you weren't here for the big New Vegas bender, were you? Um, no, we, it was great. We had a, well, we, we, we tried to do the prank concerto and everything with a, with a piano and it was, it was fantastic, honestly. Um, but yeah, you, you missed out on that, I'm afraid. <laughs> we'll do it again sometime, honest. We will. We'll find the best whiskey on the strip and it will be all yours. But yeah, I, we, we haven't really sure, poked wait. around here much, have we? While sober, is what I mean to say. What are you doing, Veronica? Anyway. 
So, yeah, we I, I kept meaning to come back to the tops and sort of try and make amends somehow for all the damage we've done. <laughs> so, uh... Fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside. Crocker. Crocker. Oh, shit. We... Oh, look at the pretty lights. They're all sort of pixelated and weird. Um, we, we totally got a... Well, I got a message from an NCR trooper the day I walked out of the Lucky 38 that night. An NCR trooper came up to me and he gave me a message from Ambassador Crocker and I completely forgot about it, probably because, you know, the whole drunk adventure thing happened immediately afterwards. That's probably why I forgot. But yeah, I got, I totally got a message from... God damn it. Found the booths, but... Oh, this is something to do with the Bison Steve. Uh, do 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 vault three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ambassador Crocker's note. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I wish to speak with you immediately. In oh dear. <laughs> in regards to important matters, I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know what the New California Republic. Know that the New California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in a beneficent mission in the Mojave in general and New Vegas in particular. It is, an, in addition, a wealthy nation that well rewards persons who dedicate themselves to its national interests, whether for reasons patriotic or material. Blah, 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 blah. Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon misconduct with a sort. I stand ready to receive you at your earliest convenience. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, in my office is at the New California Republic Embassy at the south side of the Vegas Strip. God bless the New California Republic. Dennis Crocker, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary, Department of State, New California Republic. Eh? All right, well. What's this? Mission Statement XV-56. Mission Code XV-56. 56. Temporary password lives to fight another day. Summary. Paladins, Matisse, and Lander, you are to survey the ruins at coordinates 0 0.0049.265. Search for the components we need and retrieve what you can as a secondary objective. Compile a list of additional items at the site of future retrieval. McNamara. Is that... Is that from those Brotherhood of Steel guys that we found in the Repcon... HQ. Might be, actually, you know. Huh. Anyway. I think they've cleaned things up a bit here in my absence. Probably not going to be very happy to see me, to be honest with you, but... Um... Oh, uh, God, lag, but that's that's because of all the NPCs in it. Swank. Kid, you better have a good reason for waltzing back in here and not expecting us to fill you full of lead. So talk. Yeah, about that. Uh, it's a really nice place you've got here. Tell me about it. The tops? Yeah, sure. You want the nickel tour? Old Swank's happy to oblige. We got everything you could want. Slot machines in the back, cards and roulette in the front... Fine entertainment upstairs in the Aces Theater. And all with your security personally guaranteed by the chairman and Mr. House's own Securitron police. It's the tops. Who who are you? He's, wait, I know who he is, but... Ain't been on the strip long, have you, pal? Name's Swank. This is my joint. Yeah, and I, I thought Benny ran this place. Oh, apparently, like, I've lost a few brain cells somewhere along the way, but fine. Yeah, well, that's the way it used to be. Now that Benny's gone, it's just me in charge. Um. Uh, um yeah, I'm looking. Well, I'm not really looking to make. Well, I, I am looking to make a few extra caps, but I wouldn't phrase it that way. You got any jobs that need done? Because I'd really like to make up to you for, for, for really trashing your place, because it is a nice place, and I feel kind of bad. You might have a jaw at Tommy Torini up in the Aces. He's always looking for talent scouts. Okay, uh. Can you give me the rundown on New Vegas? 
Sure, kid, sure. What can I tell you? Uh, what do you know about Mr. House? House is an all right kind of guy. Sure, he keeps a pretty tight grip on the reins, but Vegas is a wild horse. You can't just give her her head. Without Mr. House, we'd still be wearing gecko skins, poking around the ruins with pointy sticks and scalping people for giggles. Point? Yep. Uh, tell me about the chairman, then. Man, we're only the coolest cats on the whole strip. We've been here the longest, we got the swinkiest digs, and we got cats rolling in like the tide. Everybody loves the chairman, because we show them a simple good time, no strings attached. Uh, what's the story with the White Glove Society? Creepy bunch of cats, you ask me. Ah, oh, sure, they act all polite and civilized, but there's something off about them, you dig? Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. Hmm. Uh, what about the Emerters? Ah, oh, they're a shifty pack of rats. If I were you, I'd keep one hand on my wallet and the other on my gun whenever they're around. And what about the NCR? I hear they got their act together out west. Like a real old-time country, they tell me. Nah, maybe that's true and maybe it ain't. But Vegas is a whole new scene. Those bear flag boys better step light unless they want a knuckle supper. Uh-huh. I'm on about Caesar's Legion. Oh boy, those clowns? Listen up, kid, and listen good. I don't care how many fancy Latin names he gives himself, a thug ain't nothing but a thug. Warlords and emperors? Don't make me laugh. At least they got enough brains to stay the hell out of New Vegas. Mr. House had cleaned their clocks. Oh, yeah. Now I've upgraded his fucking Securitrons, I will. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, never mind. Sure, kid. Bye. Yeah. See you, kid. All right. Okay. We we well at least you know we, they don't want to shoot us anymore. That's a start, I guess. Um, Ace's Theater. Ace's Theater upstairs. This ah yeah, this is the place we wandered into briefly when we came here to. Well, yeah, kill kill Benny anyway. Alright, but tell me Torini. Tommy Tommy Torini, hello. Swank fill me in about Benny. Hell of a thing, baby. Hell of a thing. Uh tell me about this theater. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Uh, what do you think about Benny? Benny? Uh, he's an alright cat, you dig? Was? He don't got much musical talent, but he knows how to run a business. When he's around, anyways. I, yeah, um... Oh, this is, yeah, this is all, never mind. Dialogue left over from, from pre-killing Benny. Um, <laughs> Swank mentioned you might be looking for some new acts. Can I help? Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Make you 5%, my good man, and you have a deal. Ooh, a shop customer. All right, all right, 5% it is. So what do you do here? Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. Really? What kind of entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes... We got it all. Sounds great. You know it, baby. Uh, what other entertainment is there on the strip? Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? I d I Here I run the finest like entertainment venue in all New Vegas, and you're asking me, what else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the Tops, that's for sure. Fair enough. I didn't, I didn't mean anything by it. 
It's cool, baby. Tommy's a forgiving fella. Goodbye. Take it easy, baby. Okay, well. Ring a ding, baby. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, we. You've mentioned the whole dress thing before, but I'm, I'm being reminded of it because there are lots of people around here wearing dresses and stuff. So, well, we'll find something, honest. We will. It's, it's you know, it's only fair. I, I, I run around looking for suits and hats, so. You know. Fair's fair. We'll find you a dress. Okay, well. Hey, play it cool. There's the oh, there was the guy, the guitar playing guy. Near the 188 from on the road from Novak to the 188 trading post. Lo the lonesome drifter, whatever his name you know was. Yeah, we, we should totally we should totally go and we should totally go and see him. I bet he'd love to work here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that uh, if I remember to. The ultra lux. Just lost a month's caps. Vegas resort. Ah, <laughs> well, you know, I've been there, done that. Um, what's this? LVB station. Uh -huh. Actually, yeah, this goes further, obviously, because Vault 21. Hello. Vault 21 Hotel. Huh. Michelangelo's sign shop. And that would be the NTR Embassy, I'm guessing, by the flag. Huh. I, I kind of want to check this out. Um. Right. Hello? Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. Um, a vault hotel? Was, was, it, was it like this before the war? No, silly. Of course it wasn't always a hotel. I grew up in it. I love it. My favorite place in the world. Not that I know much of the world. I never left this place, come to think of it. But it is the most special vault ever. Why, you, you've never actually left this place? Sure I have. I made the scene in the strip. It's just that I really like it here. Vault 21 is a kick. Uh, okay. Um, I have some more questions about Vault 21. Alright, what would you like to know? What's so special about this vault? My vault is pure New Vegas. Everyone has a chance, and Lady Luck smiles if you play your odds right. Okay, it was like that before we had to leave. Vault 21 had very smart ways to help people get along. All arguments and fights got solved through gambling. I'll give you a quick tour of my home. Oh yeah, if you like. Um... I, I, actually, let me, let me ask you about something else. Okay. Anything else I can do for you? Um... Are you the owner of this, this hotel and, and shop? Well, it is my vault, all right. I mean, yeah, that is, no. I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. Right, you run the place, then. Yeah, and you gotta dig what I did with it. Looking as good as it should? Almost. Did you get a lot of business here? Sure, the place is packed, usually. We get loads of NCR cubes these days, a stray Brahmin Baron once in a while, and recently circled couples shining big rocks on their fingers. You... Uh, did you miss the old days in the vault? It was bustling with activity. We all knew each other so well. You see, the vault kept us all even. It's all symmetry and windows down there. We solved any quarrels through gambling. Lady Luck cast no eyeballs, you know? So, nobody shafted anyone else. Yeah, I miss those days. You you don't you don't happen to know 
a Doc Mitchell, do you? Mitch? You mean Mulbud? I hadn't thought about that name in a long time. I was just a child and he had a big mole in his rear bumper. You understand kids and all that. Everyone knows about each other in a vault. There's no other way. I hope Mole, I mean, Mitch, is doing well. Okay. Right, uh, yeah, bye. Okay, see you soon. Uh huh. Oh wow, okay, so it, yeah, I figured as much. It's an actual vault. Evidently the one that Doc Mitchell came from. I'll be damned. Yep, it's a vault, all right. Huh. It's in relatively good nick, too. I mean, all things considered. Wish I could have seen what's inside the 38. Shame about the fighting at the tops. It's got the best patrons around here, hands Are we? down. No, okay, right, we get one allowed in the refrigerator. <laughs> Um, noodles. Yum. Vending machine. The vending machines are in pretty terrible condition, though. Good God. Oh well. Uh. Yeah, this place is pretty different. I'll give it that. It's different. Hmm. Is there anything uh, much to see down here, though? I mean, <laughs> I've seen a couple of vaults already, I suppose. Although, uh... I don't know, for some reason I, I kind of like it down here. I mean, it's not like, obviously, it's not, nothing like Vault 3 or, or Vault 40 or anything like that. I mean, those were hor horrifying places, but, you know, this is kind of nice. You know? All things considered. Apparently, just wandered into someone's room with their stuff that's still in the locker. Um. Oh, right. Yeah, I didn't... Did someone mention that? I, I'm sure. Yeah, like it was filled in with cement or something. Yeah. Hmm. So... Well, I mean, there you have it, ladies and... Well, ladies, a vault that didn't go horribly, horribly wrong. That's quite something, isn't it? Damn, four stim packs. Well, I probably shouldn't steal them. Um, I did remember to bring my my stim packs and stuff this time, by the way. Uh, there you go, 14 doctor's bag. I br brought the anti-venom this time as well. Um, Hydra stim packs, the lot. So we're good on that account before anyone mentions it. Well, anyway, um, I'm slightly lost now, to be honest with you. But I'd still look out for I'd trouble. Still look out for trouble. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Legion attacking so far from the bases means we'll have to watch out on the road. These people. 
her that there. Fiend That's strange. Shouldn't have messed with our great army. Shouldn't have messed with my shotgun. Even functioning? No. Well, Seeing just as well, sights. probably. Wednesday is bingo night in the diner. Hmm. Uh. Oh, right. I'm not sure I wanted to go. No, yeah, because it's just leads to cement. Um, and malfunctioning lights. Kind of not surprised. How does this place even function then? Like, you'd think the reactor and stuff would be down on the lower levels, so how is this place even powered? You know, that sort of doesn't make a lot of sense to me, to be honest with you. These bots now have eyes on their backs, I swear. Um, they've had a few upgrades, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't one of them. Um, how the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> Shame about the fighting at the tops. It's got the best patrons around here, hands down. Shame about the fighting at the tops. It's got the best patrons around here, hands down. All right, guys, don't don't. I'm I'm all, I'm trying to make up for it. Jesus Christ. Uh, how the how the hell do I get out of here? I've heard that the Securitron's are nastier than ever. Okay, yeah, that's your room. Sorry, sir. I didn't. Uh, wrong. Wrong door. Uh, yeah, because we we all right. Okay, we came in here and then right this way, this way, this way. I remember now. Okay. Phew. I've heard that Securitron's are nastier than ever. Right. So let's just. I kind of want to get out of here now. I I, I just. Yeah. Out, 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 out. Back, back outside, under, under the nice sky. Yeah. Underground bunkers. No, thank you. Sorry, uh, we'll be going now. Okay. Much better. Alright then, uh... Let's go see Ambassador Crocker, shall we? And then I suppose we'll be turning in for the night. And we'll just head back to the Lucky 38, I guess. Beats being on patrol. Oh, NCR Military Police HQ. No. No, no, I don't. At least I don't think that's where we need to be. NCR Embassy. Yeah, here we go. Jesus, what a dump. Uh, hello? Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for the Ambassador. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Uh, Sir? Cheers. Bye. You're right, so this way. Help you? Hello? Uh, no, no, I think I'm, I've got everything covered. Cheers. Um... End of the hall, she said. Right, yeah, here. Okay. Bit better, bit better. Still really need some new wallpaper, though. Heard it got nasty at the tops. Wish I could have seen you shooting. Um, I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. You, you should really send that suit for some... Dry cleaning, seriously, that's... Wow. Have some standards, man. You're supposed to be representing the whole NCR here. It would be, it would be a fine suit other than that. I mean... Anyway, I'm listening, sorry. I, I get I get sidetracked like that. It's, it's a character trait, I guess. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot, but if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. Um, well, you have my attention, go on. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. 
They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Uh, well... Damn it, I... I'm kind of on House's side at the moment, to be honest, but... It really wouldn't hurt, would it, if I just played both sides for a while and hedged my bets, I suppose. Oh, God, pun not intended, really. But the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Uh, well... Damn it, I... I'm kind of on House's side at the moment, to be honest, but... It really wouldn't hurt, would it, if I just played both sides for a while and hedged my bets, I suppose. Oh, God, pun not intended, really. But, uh, all right, I'll find them and talk to them. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. Okay. Tell me about yourself, Ambassador. Um, I'd like to know more about the NCR. I can provide a quick history lesson, if that's what you're looking for. In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR army into the Mojave in force with the objective of occupying and repairing Hoover Dam. Rangers and army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Upon arriving at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, Mr. House called for parlay. He claimed his forces had occupied Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival, and that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the Dam and McCarran Airport. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the Dam to our home states. The remaining 5% goes to the Strip. The treaty actually makes it illegal for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the Strip, our citizens are subject to arrest or punishment by House of Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the Strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Our military police does an adequate job of keeping the troops on furlough in line. I don't envy them that task. The embassy was established a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. I'm the third <laughs> ambassador right. to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but Mr. House really, really doesn't want to be annexed by you guys. <laughs> he really, really, really doesn't want to. Um, but go on. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble, but that's Captain Papa's job. I keep myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. It's mostly busy work, but every once in a while we make progress. Mm-hmm. I want to play Hand of Caravan. You know what? I haven't played Caravan in goddamn ages, and I sort of really feel like I want to, because it would cheer me up no end, but... Really, with the, with the NCR ambassador of all people? Are you serious? <laughs> Probably not. Well, it's happening around the Strip. It's the same old stuff around here. Gambling, debauchery, drunkenness. It's all here. I'm getting a little old for it, however. If you want more information, try talking to some of the other guys around here. I don't get out of the office much anymore. Mm-hmm. I wanted to talk to you about the boomers. Thanks for doing this. Remember, we need their resources to help us in the upcoming battle. Do whatever it takes. 
Alright, never mind then. Goodbye. Goodbye. And that's President Kimball, I take it. Anyway. Alright, well that's a thing we need to do, I guess. Go see the boomers. I'm not promising these guys anything, but I'll certainly go check them out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else, of course. A bit of good old-fashioned exploring wouldn't be such a terrible thing now, would it? Anyway, yeah, night has officially fallen. I don't really know what we should do. We could get pissed drunk, I guess, but I'm not sure I'm in the mood. Honestly. Um, I mean, considering how much money we lost last time, I'm not sure we can afford to do it again. And yeah, I mean, I mean, if 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 the if the casinos are a little bristly with us now, imagine what they're going to be like after after another round. Yeah, maybe maybe not. Maybe we'll just stay in tonight, huh? <laughs> oh, yawn. Oh, damn it. Having mentioned all that stuff about drinks and everything... Hello! What do we have? Oh, they're all... These are all freaking empty? You gotta be kidding me! We've got Nuka Cola, we've got... Your crap whiskey. Where's the damn scotch, Ms. Nouse? Come on. Whiskey, whiskey, large whiskey bottle. The scotch balls are all empty. God damn it. And I got my hopes up there, I did. That's unfortunate. Well, it's all yours. Try, try not to, you know, drink, drink it all at once. Yeah.